picture the Cold War as an actual armed conflict that has erupted in Europe between the Allies and Soviets, this time in a parallel universe in the 1950s where the great physicist Albert Einstein has done the impossible. He has found a way to travel back to 1924 to prevent World War II by wiping Adolf Hitler clean off the history books. As a result, the most famous war in history has been prevented, but at the expense of the ambitions of another great dictator, Joseph Stalin, whose Soviet Union has now increased in power and has planned to invade the European continent. It's up to you to defend the interests of the rest of Europe, or to ensure the conquest of it, in Command and Conquer, Red Alert, developed by Westwood Studios and published by Virgin Interactive for the PlayStation, more notably for the PC, the version I remember so fondly playing as a teenager. This was my first step into real-time strategy, and to be sure, it is still top 3 in my favorite RTS games, not to mention the expansions Counter-Strike, The Aftermath, and Retaliation, the combination of the two with plenty of goodies. To be sure, this game has an excellent check and balance system that forms the makeup of each unit. Now usually I'll try my best to send a ton of troops against enemies, but it's definitely not hard to bust through with the right mix of foot and vehicle soldiers. You'll be thrown into the heat of battle as you take control of either the Allied or Soviet forces in a series of missions against your opponent, each involving a fair amount of fast thinking. You'll have a good number of search and destroy missions where you simply take up the fight and eliminate all opponents. During your missions with the Allies, you can come into control of the lovely Tanya Adams, a badass female commando who can blast away foot soldiers in one shot and also detonate buildings. My favorite Soviet unit is the MiG fighter plane that are just devastating in numbers and has a check on the Allied destroyer. When I played this game regularly in middle school days, after I had completed the main missions, I tackled Skirmish Mode, which is a custom-made game that you can play either by yourself or against your buddies online. I prefer this mode since it's up to you how well you do, and there's no mission objective except to eliminate the enemy. I would kill hours trying to find Tiberium deposits to get my cash flow up enough to build as many tanks, soldiers, and A-bombs as possible, and just mercilessly flatten the opposition. To get to that point is hard, however, when you must strike a balance between getting enough defense for your base as well as sending units to attack, but with enough practice and guts, you'll surely come out the victor in battle. The quotes from the live cinematics are lines that I'll never forget in my life. Comrade Stalin's cabinet still makes me laugh to this day at how typically ruthless the Soviets are. Destroy the town and kill everyone in it. It is vital to our propaganda efforts that we take Berlin before Comrade Stalin's birthday. Red Alert has also garnered critical acclaim for its god-awesome soundtrack that sounds like a combination of Pantera and Prodigy. So typically 90s indeed. The presentation is also damn good, with beautiful building and terrain designs that just fit for a gritty war game. The unit voices will also leave you quoting them with your buddies. The storyline is so well prepared, using science fiction themes attached to Cold War history. It's safe to say that Command and Conquer Red Alert is a mainstay in RTS gaming, and one you will find in the library of any fan of the genre. Mission accomplished.